of the shear mending moment diagrams for the beam. The beam has a 2 kilonewton per meter distributed load over the first half of the beam and a 10 kilonewton load 2 meters from the right hand end. The free body diagram is already provided for you here. The two forces at the left hand end are at AX and AY. That comes from there being a pin there. One force at the roller. BY. To write your equations of equilibrium, you can show that AX has to equal zero. AY minus the point load, equivalent point load is 2 times 5 is 10, minus 10 more, plus BY equals zero. And if you sum the moments at A, you have 2 times 5, that's the equivalent point load, 10, acting at 2.5, plus 10 acting at 8, minus BY acting all the way at the end of the beam at 10 has to equal zero. And you can solve that to show that BY has to be 10.5 kilonewtons and AY is 9.5 kilonewtons. Now you can draw the shear and bending moment diagrams. The shear diagram will start at the reaction of the left hand end. This is 9.5 kilonewtons up, so V starts at positive 9.5. Now I have a distributed load, constant distributed load, a constant distributed load down, remember that W is defined as positive down, gives me a linear V, which is decreasing. So a linear V decreasing at a slope of the value of W, which in this case is 2, or minus 2 kilonewtons. That's going to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way out to 5, that linear distributed load. Well, if it's linear and it's at slope of minus 2 over 5, it's going to decrease by 10. That's the area under your distributed load, 2 times 5. If you decrease by 10, you end up at a value of negative 0.5. That negative 0.5 will not change at all until you get to 8. At 8, you have a point load of 10 down. That drops you by 10. If you drop point five, negative 0.5 by 10, you have negative 10.5. That does not change until you get to 10, where you have the, district, the point load at BY. Point load at BY is 10.5, which luckily gets you back to zero, and that's how you know you're at equilibrium. The other point of interest is this crossing. How can you figure out where that is? Well, the easiest way to do that is to say that W of X is 2. So V of X is the integral of minus W of X dx. So V of X has to be equal to minus 2x plus some constant. Well, we know what that constant is. The constant is the reaction at the wall, 9.5. So my V of x is 9.5 minus 2x. Well, where does that equal 0? 9.5 minus 2x is equal to 0 at x equals 4.75. So our crossing is at 4.75 meters. Now we can draw the bending moment diagram. The bending moment diagram is starts at the reaction at the left hand end, so it starts at zero. V is linear, so m is quadratic. m, remember, is the integral of v of x dx. So if you wanted to, you could integrate this and you would get 9.5x minus x squared. The other way to do it is to figure out what the area under that curve is. My area is 9.5 up and 4.75 over. The area of that is 22.5625. That's the value that m will increase to. It's going to be concave down. V is decreasing, so m is concave down. Also, you have a minus x squared here, so you know that it's going to be concave down. So m looks like this, goes up to 22.5625 at this same spot x equals 4.75. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is x equals 5. Between x equals 4.75 and x equals 5, we have this much smaller triangle, same slope, but now we have a decrease. Uh, the y value is negative 0.5, the x value is 0.25. Well, the area of that is 0.0625. This is an area below the x-axis, so m is going to decrease a little bit, by 0 0.0625. That gets me down to 22.5 at x equals 5. Now v is constant, so m is linear. The constant is below the x-axis. I'll have 3 meters at a value of negative 0.5 kilonewtons. Gives me a decrease 
of 1.5 kilonewtons meters. That gets me down to 21. That slope is equal to the value at of v, which in this case is negative 0.5. 6, 7, 8. Now we're up to 8, x equals 8. v is now constant again. It's a different value, so my slope changes. My slope is now going to be negative 10.5. A change of negative 10.5 over 2 is this area is 21. So this decreases by 21, which luckily gets us right back to 0. And you know that your beam is in equilibrium. We don't have a reaction moment at B, so we do, our M diagram has to end up at 0.